Hi guys, I want to do a quick video review of a Zero Breeze AC unit on a camper van. I searched a lot on YouTube and I don't see uh, a good location where people would install this unit. So I found a place to put it in mine. So I want to show you guys how I did with mine and what I think about this unit in terms of keeping the temperature down and power consumption. I do have 400 watt solar panel on the roof. So let's take a look, see how this unit are doing. So I've been parking this van in the sun for about three hours. Uh, sheet metal reading about 103 degree. It is definitely a hot day and I want to give it a kind of real life result. So this is where I will have parked it and fire underneath the sun. Let's go inside and take a look. So this is the location where I choose to put the zero breeze, just hitting right inside the little closet that I made. The air coming out is about 56 and I've seen a lot of video people um, measure accurate temperature of the air to coming out to so that pretty accurate I don't have a way of measuring it but cabin temperature is about 76 degree so almost 30 almost 30 degree difference it is very comfortable in here that I can tell all the surface are cool to the touch especially all the countertop it feel cool to the touch and power consumption uh, I have it hooked up straight to AC, so I didn't even bother doing with the 24 volt. So maybe it is a little bit uh, in, inefficient. But right now it's pulling 276 watt, and solar input is 240. So I almost break even, almost break even. So I'm really happy with this unit. Location wise, this is how I did it. Hope this video help you guys out and everything is kind of um, for the vent for the air intake and the exhaust I just drill two four inch hole underneath the van and that's where it's uh, exhaust out yeah I really like this unit and I think this location that I choose work out really well and they have the I think like six inch Holes that you can redirect the the, uh, um, the cold air output so maybe I can just use that and kind of point direct the air toward the bedding at night so for more spot cooling but right now it's just kind of general in the area all the cold air coming out from this area and it's, it keeps the temperature of the cabin about 30 degrees lower compared to the outside air let's walk around show you how I did the uh, the venting see if I can get underneath here real quick This is a 2016 Ford Transit rear wheel drive Eco Boost. And let's take a look one more time. One or two. And it went up 
two degree since I opened the sliding door. All right, guys, I hope this video helped locations and efficiency and does it cool your cabin down in a really hot day and I think it does all right take care